Channel 5 Sports. And a good Monday night, everyone. Thursday was insane. Friday was surreal. Today, however, it all became official. Larry Nance Jr. was introduced as one of the newest members of the Los Angeles Lakers at a press conference earlier this afternoon. A former Wyoming hoop star was joined by fellow draftees D'Angelo Russell and Anthony Brown. For Nance, the work now is to take all he's learned to the pros, especially what he has learned from his famous father. I'm not the first member of my family to, to go through this process, but um, you know, going through this, any questions I have, my dad's been through it. So you know, I can run that off him, and he's he's going to have the best advice I could possibly ask for. Um, I mean, I, I credit him to a lot involving basketball, obviously, but mainly basketball IQ. He's he's taught me a whole lot from studying his old, you know, black and white VHS tapes on our on our TV, and and uh, so I, I just hope to keep learning from him and and add a few others along this process. Well, sticking with Nance now, let me put my take into this. It's been amazing to see all the excitement surrounding his selection by the Lakers. I mean, to think. Wow, I actually saw him play in Laramie, and now, boom, he's a Laker. However, one word has sadly permeated through the world of drive-by sensational sports media outlets since Thursday night. Tweet. It all stemmed from a tweet Nance issued criticizing the actions of his new teammate, Kobe Bryant. One tweet when he was 19 from three and a half years ago dominated the talk about Nance from those who should know better. It's the reason why I haven't brought it up in these airwaves until tonight. Now, think back to when you were 19. How many ill advised things did you say? Well, if you're like me, that number is probably more than zero. But after spending the last college hoops season covering Nance's march to the NCAA tournament, the Nance of the infamous tweet was not what I saw. This Nance was the leader of the Cowboys, the key cog in the wheel of the Pokes season. It was clear this was a smart and focused human being not just a great player, and certainly more than a flip tweet. Now, both Nance and Bryant have addressed this non-issue, and it's in the past, where it should have been in the first place. Perhaps the best part of the situation was seeing how Nance handled it with the Los Angeles media today. He made it a point to call his teammate Mr. Bryant instead of Kobe, even going out of his way to correct himself when he used his first name. Today, we saw one more reason why this newest Laker has become Mr. Nance, to many of us. All right, sticking right now, let's go on over the baseball. Rocks in Oakland tonight, and uh, yeah, not good this evening. They're down 5-1 to the A's in the top of the eighth. Another late start for these two clubs from the Bay tomorrow night. Prep Athlete of the Week, brought to you by Cheyenne Regional Medical Group. Well, it wasn't a superb week for Post-6 Legion last week, going 2-3 and three during a swing through Nebraska. There was, however, still a fine performance from Colton Onstott. Recent Sydney grad went 500 at the plate for those five games, including a 4-for-4 four four performance with three runs and two R RBIs on Wednesday. He even came in to pitch three innings of one-hit ball Thursday night, helping the Sixers score one of their two wins. And that is why Colton Onstott is our prep athlete of the week.